Okay, so the first thing you want to do is when we are creating a list, the whole goal is so we can create a landing page, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to your list. And you see, I've already had, I have a couple of lists right here already. Um, so what you wanna do is, since you have a new account, you're gonna cre create a list first. So you're gonna click here on the right, create list. And then you wanna click the create again. And then we wanna name our list. So right now I'm just gonna put EFG prospect list one. And then I'm gonna put 2018, so we know what year it is. So I'm gonna do something like that. <clears throat> and then you wanna enter in your default email address. When we enter in our default email address, this is the email address that we want people to respond to, okay? It, it doesn't necessarily have to be the email you created your account with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my assistance email. And this is the name you want to actually like show when you're emailing someone. The key is I would recommend always having like your first name or whatever nickname that people would call you by because the thing is you don't want your messages to go to spam. So for example, in this default name, if you put like an organization name, like it could be your business or EFG, they may not open it because it may seem kind of spammy. So always put what people know you by. You put Jade. <clears throat> and then MailChimp is real big on spam. So you want to make sure in this box here, you want to remind people how did they get on your list, right? Because if you do a lot of like emails sent out to people who didn't give you permission to put them on your email list, MailChimp will actually close out your account because it's like an FCC rule, federal law rule for spam and un unsolicited, <coughs> excuse me, unsolicited <coughs> offers. Boom. So I'm just gonna put, you are on this list because you signed up for more information about IML. Boom. And that's it. Then you could put a, a dummy, uh, this is my business, um, PO box, if you don't have, the address that you want people to know, you can just leave this blank. You necessarily don't have to do it. I recommend you, in the form settings, do a double opt-in because this actually helps your messages from going to spam, and this actually automatically adds you to um, the person's email contact list. So in the future, when you send them a message, it will automatically go to their inbox versus going into their spam mail. And this is just to give you information on how your list is doing. If you want a daily summary, um, if you want to get notified when people subscribe to your list, or you want to know when people unsubscribed, and maybe you want to reach out to them to figure out why did they unsubscribe. So these are just your personal options. I personally don't click them because I don't like my email inbox to be cluttered. So I just actually check my data once a week. Personally, I go in and just check the results. So we're going to click Save Our List. So here's what it looks like. And say if you already have a list and from your landing, like a previous list, you bring it from your own email account, you'll just go here and you add new subscriber. I'm just gonna click here so you can see what it looks like. So you just put in their information. And then if they're already on your email list, now obviously they gave you permission, but make sure. And if you have a double, if, if you have new information with the person's first and last name, you want to do this in MailChimp, there's something really cool. They'll actually update your list, okay? So we're going to go back, and then we're actually going to create, um, so we're going to create a campaign now. So we just created our list, and if you go down here, there's our list right here. We have zero subscribers. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to create campaigns. All right, so we're gonna go to the right, right here, and we're gonna click Create Campaign. And then what MailChimp does is they make this really dummy one-on-one. -on -one. So it's either, you, what, you, what do you wanna do? You wanna create a cam email, or do you wanna create an ad, or do you wanna create a landing page? What we wanna do is we want to create a landing page. And then this is just for your records, the landing page name. So we could just put EFG Prospect. And then we want to select that list we just created right here. Then we're going to click begin. 
And this is what the sample template looks like, okay? So we're gonna keep this real simple. So um, we can right here where it says logo. So when we work on this, hold on, let me get out of this. We want to click on this. And if you want to replace the logo, you'll just click here and re click replace. So I'm going to actually put in my logo real quick, which is already in here. But if you, since you all are creating a new account, you want to upload a new one. So you just, you'll just do the same thing where you click replace and then you click upload. And then here you want um, to have something catchy. So I'm just gonna say, are you, going to remain broke forever. So you want something catchy that's gonna catch their attention and then you can play with the fonts, um, different styles, the headings. Um, you just get in there and figure out what you like and what works for you. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And then here, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click this. Right here, you're gonna actually put in the information that you want, the body of information that you want. Um, I'm going to show you my previous one in a moment. So we're just gonna just put some stuff right there. And then right here is the information that you wanna actually collect when people come to your landing page. When I did mine, I clicked the first name and then I also want your phone number because of course we want to be able to call them when they signed up. And then me, I put, Yes, I want to be debt free. Or you could put I want to be free. Something catchy, you know, that you want to catch someone's catch their attention, right? Now, we want to change the background. So you can either do a color or you can do an image. I know for me, I found some things online and I did this for mine. I selected this image, I just typed in Google stocks, and this is what I did. And so that is basically it for how to quickly do a landing page. And then um, what I did in the body here, I'm gonna go back here. I actually inserted the promotional video that we have in our EFG links. I put that in here after I had did my spill on making them think why they should wanna get out of debt, you know, go from being poor to um, wealthy. So I did my spill. And then once you do all that, you just save and continue and bam. That's it, and then you can make the you can create make this a little um you can make this a little different. This um if you want to add a page title to customize it, it may be something like um millennial wealth or something like that, right? And then we save it. Boom. And this is the title that they're gonna see. And you see that it's connected to your prospect list. And that's the content your design is done. And that's it. And then when you're done, you just hit publish. And boom, that's all you have to do. Now I'm gonna show you um, mine real quick. Where is it? I don't remember. No. Hold on, let me see. Close to, wait a minute. Let me just go to my Facebook. <laughs> I don't remember. My assistant creates all these links. So we're just going to go to my Facebook real quick. So you can see it. My computer is acting drunk today, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Okay, yeah. So mine is the new rules of money. So here's what mine looks like. So this is what I did with mine. And this is how it will look once you finish publishing. Sorry guys, my daughter is on 10 right now. And so this is what I did in this easy peasy and that's all. Now, after you finish your campaign, if you want to actually, um, hold on, let me make sure you guys, all right. So after you finish your campaign, if you all want to, um, what was I about to say? Oh yes, if you all want to have an automatic email, Go out with someone, subscribe, so to let them know what you'll do is, you'll go to campaigns again. We'll go to create campaign. This time it's gonna be an email campaign. And it'll be EFG welcome. Then we're gonna begin that. 
and we are going to be sending it to our new list EFG prospect list and this is if you want to personalize it meaning that if you want like the email to say their first name I recommend doing that so that's what a merge tag is so when they sign up and their first name is listed um, anytime you put a merge tag in it's going to address them like Rujade or Jade thank you blah 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 so we're going to save that so hold on since this is new let me add someone to the list real quick to the EFG list so I can show you how this actually works. So I'm gonna put in my dummy thing. So you won't actually, so I recommend always testing your things before you send it out. Um, MailChimp actually won't let you complete this process without actually um, having an email just connected. So Jade R, boom. So I'm just gonna say boom, boom. So this is how it looks when you add a subscriber. So we're gonna go back to campaigns. Then we're gonna continue editing the EFG welcome. And then we're gonna, um, so this is who is sending the campaign to, boom, save, verify domain. But my stuff is tripping today. Okay, so we're gonna cancel that out. And then subject, we're gonna add our subject. Forex, we'll say IML, welcome, or something like that. Is this something catchy that you want? Then you want to actually design your email. I actually have some templates, so we're just going to go to design email. And I'm just going to show you some of my welcome emails I've done with my other business, so you can kind of see it. Um, so you can play with the themes that have different layouts, and it's the same concept as the landing page. So this is like what my email looks like here. You still could do a logo, you wanna update that, the header, and then you have your content. So it can be what anything that you wanted to say far as, um, what did you like about the video? Something simple as that. And then that's it. And so when you're done, that will be what you send out for your um, draft. So who's sending this campaign? So. Why is it doing this? Do do do. Save email address. I'm just gonna put my new one in because this is tripping. Save. Okay, so let me go to my email. This is some new um, verification um, that they're doing now because there's a lot of scam and new FCC federal rules. So um, we're gonna go to my email real quick. And where are you? So you're not there. So we're just not going to worry about that, but you get the gist. So it's the same concept. So as the landing page, so once you enter in everything, you set it up, and then this will be an automatic email that's sent out. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in action with, um, with my other list that I have, because I already have some automation set up. So uh, this one right here, is your biz legit? And so this is what it's going to look like once it's set up. It's going to let you know how many opens it has, how many clicks it has throughout. And this is an automation that I had set up when people sign up for my personal business website. So it gives you the information, 50%, to let me know how many subscribers I got based on this email. <coughs> so it gives you information, gives you data to use. You can stop it and pause it to edit it and everything. So that is it, guys, for the MailChimp um, tutorial. So um, let me see. Do, do, do. Does anyone have any questions? You have a question. Go ahead. Does anybody have any questions right now? Yeah, Jade. Um, do you know what? Do you know the uh, rules for Mailchimp as far as what you're allowed to send in an email, what you're not allowed to say? Yes. Yeah, so um, Mailchimp actually, they don't 
so you can pretty much send out anything, right? The, the thing is, is how you, you the, the thing that they're big on MailChimp is the FCC rules, meaning that far as spam, meaning that if you add someone on, say you're on your regular Google, it's just random people that you have that may not have told you that they're interested in IML, but if they report that it's spam and they never signed up for your account, that is what would get you shut down and, you know, and banned from using MailChimp. And then also they report you to an email service data reporting. So it'll be, it'll be hard for you to open up another account with a new email, basically marketing platform like MailChimp, AWeber, um, Constant Contact, BC, the, all the different ones. Do we have it? Go ahead. So you, you would think it's best to do a landing page first so you can get your emails instead of blasting out an email list because we'll get spam. Correct. Now, say, for instance, if it's people that you have already contacted and, and you know that they're actually in for IML, then I say, yes, this send them. What you do is when you add them to your email list, it's, it's going to be a button that's going to say, ask them to confirm with the double opt-in that I showed you. So it's going to act when you add them, it's actually going to send them a notification that they've been added. And so what you want to do is request that they... Um, check that they want to actually be on that list so you can actually add them to your list and make them request it to want to be on there by doing the double opt-in option that I showed you so that work as far as spam too so like if I have a list of 20,000 emails and I ask them to opt in will it, I still be considered spam Nope, because you're asking them to opt in and they have to confirm. So basically, if they haven't confirmed and you send out a blast email, MailChimp won't send them an email until they confirm. Gotcha. What other questions do we may have? Okay, well, I mean, that is pretty much it. I'm, I'm always in group me. So if you all have any questions, like once you actually get in there and start creating your own landing page and your email list, I'm more than welcome to help out with that. Um, also, um, the reason why I decided to do this landing page, so I want to give some um, back, some back information. So the reason why I decided to do this landing page, because my friend, she's actually in Dr. China's um, sex group, and she actually has a really cool landing page. And um, I'm actually going to go to it now because it's just really cool. And um, I think you all should look at it. And this is what gave me the idea to do it and um, to do it this way. And she has gotten great results with, you know, getting people signed up, making sure when people sign up that this is what they want. And um, she's always online because she's naturally a, a marketer. So um, hold on. I'm going to share my screen as soon as I um, get her information pulled up real quick. One second. And so I thought this, she suggested to me that this would be a really cool way to leverage my, because I have an online community as well. This would be a cool way to leverage that. Um, so, all right, Forex trading webinars. So I'm about to share my screen now so you all can see what I'm talking about. All right. Uh -uh. Wait a minute, it's not sharing. Share screen. Boom. Share screen. All right. So here's my friend Emily's um her landing page. And so what she actually does is she she re, her her marketing tactic is not necessarily to reach new prospects. Hers is to re um reestablish the ones who have already been reintroduced to IML and show them how it's how it's easy to trade those who may have got slipped through the cracks who may have deactivated their accounts or whatnot she has already built several legs already in her business so this is why this is her focus but when she first started it was kind of simple like mine so this is how she has her set up she has it like watch a quick video and then she has a video on how to use the harmonic scanner and then this is how she goes about tack tackling getting people interested. 
And so this is what she does. And then she has a register now. And actually hers does the same thing as mine. Um, she has it, you know, you can listen to the replay or join her. Like she does uh, webinars every week to catch people. So you can watch the replay. Of, of her IMO presentation, or you could do it here. And then she also adds a bonus walkthrough on how to actually use the tools. If you're a new customer, she actually walks how to do it really quickly. And then she has it where you put in your information, but I recommend having your phone number, but this is how she does it. And so that's what inspired me to do my own landing page because I saw how she had massive results and saw how her and her team is just so connected and they flow. And my goal is when I build my team, I don't want my customers to feel disconnected. I don't want the ones who are building to feel disconnected. So I thought this was kind of like a great way to not feel scattered and all over the place with communicating with people. But then you could communicate with everyone at the same time and still give them that personal one-on-one -on -one attention. Now, I will say that in did um, tell me that when she did start doing this initially um, it was kind of simple like mine how I have it now what she did was her follow-up email responses would be to um, you know now that you watched the opportunity video what, um, what did you like most about it and then can, can I schedule a time within you know the next 48 out 24 to 40 hours for you to speak with me and my mentor further about how we can get you started <clears throat> and then for those who were interested of course they're going to hit yes immediately and then by doing it like that that was the way for her to cut through people wasting her time and um, actually leveraging the power of social media as well and to actually look at her conversions to see what people responded to for example with this people are responding to mindset trying to think rich, trying to be rich, you know, so, it, but when she first started, she was tackling the idea of get out of student loan debt, get out of debt, you know, get in the black. That's how she marketed to catch people's attention. And we're going to stop there. Does that make sense, everyone? Yeah, yep, yep, works for me. All right, does anyone have any further questions? All right, guys, well, if that is no further questions, then um, just message me in the group me if you have any questions on this. This has been recorded, so I'm going to get the video to um, Travis, and then he'll post the link for it or whatever however he does his thing on getting this information and so you all would have access that to that to rewatch it as you're setting up your things oh one second we have a message okay no problem you're welcome Latoya um so that's it you guys enjoy your Sunday and I will see you on the training tonight I believe we have one tonight <laughs> all right guys love you bye